All right, um, let's go and take a look. First of all, cosecant is the reciprocal of s s s sine, OK? So I want you guys to just think of something. Because obviously, you're going to have your graphing calculator, right? You're going to have a graphing calculator. So as far as graphing it, I'm not really concerned about you guys being able to graph. However, um, let's think about, well, actually, yeah. For what angles is y going to be 0? Because if you guys remember, when I showed that, when I did those, um, when I graphed them, if you remember, sine and cosecant, where cosecant had asymptotes where sine was 0, right? So we need to figure out when is the y coordinate equal to 0. And we know that for 30, 60, and 90, that's not the case. But for these points, that was the case. So what angles is um, do we have asymptotes equal to at? Well, is y 0 here? So therefore, cosecant would be 0, right? OK, so we could say x cannot equal. Um, uh, x would be at 0. And, and then x cannot equal pi. I'm sorry. x equals 0 and pi. These are the values when my cosecant, when my sine is 0, so therefore my cosecant is undefined. So if you remember, we wrote x equals pi n as representing all of the, uh, pi n as far as representing all of the asymptotes. All right. However, there is something that's kind of going on here. Our problem is cosecant of x divided by 2. Okay. So therefore, what that means is um, our period has now just changed to what? How much? If our originally our period of, of cosecant of x is 2 pi divided by b, right? But now my period has changed from 2 pi divided by one half. So therefore, I multiply by 2 over 1, 2 over 1. So now I get 4 pi. So what has happened with my period? It's basically been doubled. Now, I don't have any transformations. I'm not shifting left or right at all. But now, instead of my period going from um, my asymptotes, or my period going from 0 to 2 pi, now my asymptotes, instead of going from, uh, sorry, for now my period, instead of going from 0 to 2 pi, is now increased from 0 to 4 pi. So if my asymptotes going from 0 to pi need to be doubled, they're now going to be going from 0 to 2 pi. So my relationship of my asymptotes would be x equals 2 pi n. And with the graphing calculator, you could go ahead and verify that. Um, I know it kind of gets a little bit confusing.